we have a problem because the limit on the left does not equal the limit on the right. When that happens, when the limit from the left is not the same as the limit from the right, we say that the limit as x approaches negative 3 does not exist. And that's because we can't tell what value we're approaching at negative 3. We don't know if we're approaching the left limit of negative infinity or the right limit of positive infinity. The two different values make it so that the limit does not exist. Let's look at another example. We have got a lot going on in this picture. We'll take it piece by piece. First, I want to look at the limit as x approaches negative 8. Take a moment, see if you can figure out the answer, pause your video, resume when you're ready to see the solution. And go ahead and do that for all these limits. Once I say what the limit is that we're looking for, pause your video and resume when you want to confirm your answer with my solution on the screen. All right, when x equals negative 8, we see we have a point here of negative 8, 0. We do approach that point from both sides. So the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 8 is 0. All right, how about the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the left? And we'll also look at the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the right. Pause now if you'd like to. From the left, we see that we approach an output of 20. But from the right, we approach an output of 0. That means that the limit as x approaches negative 6 in general does not exist. Next, let's look at the limit <coughs> as x approaches 0. Again, we see that we have a point there. We approach, us, we approach the point from both sides, so that limit is simply our y value of the point. The limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is 11.81. Okay, how about the limit as x approaches 3? Pause now if you want to. Well, at 3 we have another point, and we do approach the same point from both sides. The y value is 0, which means the limit is 0. Let's look at this vertical asymptote now. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 4 which means we want to look at the limit as x approaches 4 from the left and the limit as x approaches 4 from the right. We'll also look at the limit as x approaches 4 in general. Pause the video now if you'd like to. All right, from the left, let me give myself a little bit more room here. I see that my function is going up to positive infinity. Thus, the limit is positive infinity. From the right, I'm also going up to positive infinity. So the right limit is also positive infinity. Since the left limit and the right limit are the same, then the limit as x approaches 4 in general is positive infinity. Last thing I want to look at is this hole, or removable discontinuity. What I see here, and what I'm going to look at, is I want to look at the limit as x approaches negative 7 from the left, the limit as x approaches negative 7 from the right, and then the limit as x approaches negative 7 in general. As we approach negative 7 from the left, I'm heading towards this point, which has an output of 17.98. As I approach from the right, I'm still heading towards the same point, 17.98. So the limit is 